Hey kids, it is June 12, 2018. It's 3.31 a.m. It's in the morning. In Singapore, it's 3.31 p.m. Um, I apologize, but at the beginning of this, I forgot to um, hit three quarter because I had something else in my mind, um, which was the cartoon. I tried this technique. It's called photo painting, where you take a photo and apparently you paint it. I don't know why, but in my Corel program, what I wanted to do was pull up the photo and trace it, and then get rid of that layer of the photo, and then make it all look like a cartoon. Just, just have everything just like the image. But I couldn't figure it out how to do it like that, so I trashed it and started over. And next thing I knew, I started over and I forgot to push the recording. Thingy, this video is seven minutes and eleven seconds long. Seven eleven, folks. And it's episode 131. Yeah, how about that? 7 11. Makes me want a taquito. Alright. I want to do something on the the whole photo that came out from the summit. And I already did something on the G7 over the weekend. And that one was kind of popular. Um, Crooks and Liars, that website, they picked it up. I mean, they didn't pay me for it, but they picked it up. Um, I could go after them for that, but I'm going to be nice. Um, I have been watching this whole Trump Kim summit all night. In about 30 minutes, he's going to do a press conference. And I got so much to say about that, but I'll save it for the next video. I think. <laughs> I think. Wait, I've only been talking for like a minute and two minutes. That damn did not seem right. That ain't happened. All right. Um. As you see, it took me a little while to get exactly where I want it, Trump. You know, the baby Trump. The boss baby. I was thinking about the boss baby when I was doing this. But uh, this one took a lot quicker than I thought. I thought I was going to sit here for like four hours and work on this thing. Or at least two and a half. But I did it in about an hour and ten minutes. So that was cool. That was nice. Especially since I was going to draw another cartoon tonight. I really need to slow down and draw cartoons making these videos. I'm so far ahead. How many days am I ahead? Let me look. Let me give it a look. Which one is on Go Comics today? I am four days ahead. I'm about to be five days ahead. That's crazy. That is too far ahead, people. Way too far. Too far. I'm going to give you some shout outs. For episode 130. Uh, just a few of you. Um. Ariel, you, they're usually always present. Ariel, and uh, glad that she is caught up. Um, yeah, she said a really, really good suicide cartoon is an odd sentence. It is, it is, but I get what you're doing. I get where you're going with that. Um, she's commenting on the previous cartoon, on the previous cartoon. <laughs> And uh, Kwana gave me a shout out. Uh, the, the, I didn't give Kwana a shout out. She didn't give me a shout out. I'm giving Kwana a shout out. Um, sorry, people. It's three thirty. I, I set my alarm to wake up at three, but then I woke up about twenty minutes before the alarm. Um, and now I feel so tired. I feel kind of nauseous in a way, which is weird. Um, what does that mean? At least I didn't dream, dream about ghost again. Um. Usually I forget dreams, but that one's stuck with me. It's weird. Uh, uh, yeah, she believes Trump would drive a car without a windshield and blame it on Obama. I believe, I agree with her. And uh, Akenta talked about how uh, Trump could be reelected. You know, I think that he might actually try to do what Putin does. I mean, don't arrest his opponents, but kind of like go after him, try to prevent them from running. He's in his office that way, in the Justice Department. I'm waiting for it. I know it sounds crazy, right? It just sounds so ludicrous. But he's already used his Justice Department to go after his enemies. I mean, he's tried. That was for 130. Uh, let me look at 129. Did somebody else comment on 129? Uh, yeah, I can't just comment on that one. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, 
but uh, on the, the blog for this one, I talked about how um, Peter Navarro, his like trade economic advisor duty, went on Fox News, one of the networks, I think it was Fox, and he said, you know, there's a special place in hell for anyone who betrays Donald J. Trump. And the thing that really, really bothered me about that was that he didn't say, uh, well, first off, Justin Trudeau, who he met that for, did not betray Donald J. Trump. Um, or stab him in the back and stuff like that and um, yeah that's what he said he said there's a special place in hell for anyone who st stabs Donald J. Trump in the back um, the thing that really bothered me the most about that was that he didn't say the president or the United States he said Donald J. Trump like as if you know this whole sickle fan thing like 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 he's a DT like a sacrilege to, to betray Donald Trump or for him to even be perceived as being betrayed. That's that's scary. I mean, it's kind of like Omarosa talking about how Trump will get his revenge on people. And Stephen Miller saying the president's authority will not be questioned. That, that kind of talk just means that I got to go back to work and just take all these people down. <laughs> it annoys me, people. I just don't, don't like that. I, like um, I did this one so fast. I, I I like my Abby caricature, but I didn't like my uh, Angela caricature so much. But I just zoomed through it. And there's your cartoon, folks. We are done. I'm gonna move on now with my life after I post this. I got a sneeze coming up here. Oh my god. Um, too early to be doing videos. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Um. Can't think of anything else to say except for thank you for coming by. Please share this on social media. Sorry, my mind's elsewhere on the next cartoon. And uh, click like and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you all later today. Bye.